Now we are going to look at the ubiquitous sensor network services. So what is ubiquitous? Uh, it's a basically Latin word ubiquit, which means everywhere. So these are the services which are sometimes provisioned through the web services like architecture and sometimes through other proprietary means. So it's a very diverse and broad field. Uh, normally it is referred to as wireless sensor networks. Uh, but uh, in the context of NGN, these are known as USN services. So we'd uh, start with an overview. We'd understand what is the network like, what are the major technologies involved, and how is it evolving. Uh, so uh, it is an emerging service. Uh, that is to say, these services are uh, getting increasing acceptance and uh, um, the pervasiveness in the user community. So ubiquitous sensor network services has the next important component known as sensor. So these are the physical sensors or the logical sensors which sense uh, the environment. Uh, this environment can be the physical environment like uh, uh, habitat monitoring, temperature, etc. Or sometimes it is the logical environment, for, in for instance, the uh, presence and location uh, detection. So it has a lot of applications. Uh, because these sensors together form a network and they have applications in uh, entertainment industry, infotainment, uh, um, government, public sector, um, education, etc. So uh, USN, in the context of NGN, defines a conceptual framework or a uh, model through which these services can be transported from the physical networks which are very different and diverse and heterogeneous to the NGN users. So essentially, these are also known as the knowledge services because the journey from raw data uh, to information to knowledge actually is the desired goal for inferring the maximum uh, purpose and usefulness from the um, real world environment. So the network is basically a wired come wireless network. Uh, because uh, these sensors are uh, connected to each other and to a centralized system uh, known as the gateway and the um, the portal uh, which in turn is connected to the NGN. Uh, so uh, these services of uh, sensor network are fairly autonomous because different service providers come up with their own ideas and with their own uh, mechanisms to provide these services through their own devices and uh, uh, gadgets. Uh, so if all these devices in the sensor network are working together, it is known as the cooperative or distributed processing environment. So if uh, uh, these sensors are working cooperatively, it means that we are looking at some kind of uh, synergy or uh, support behavior and some redundancy and some um, uh, reliability. So that is why sensor networks have a lot to offer in terms of research and in terms of applicability. Uh, they, these sensor networks can be deployed in a variety of environments um, like uh, plant automation, like factories, uh, control, controller area networks, uh, security and safety systems as in shopping malls, uh, fire uh, detection, prevention, and alleviation uh, based uh, uh, forest sensor networks, um, basically HVAC uh, related uh, office uh, automation and uh, home automation, uh, for example, smart homes, uh, green homes. So all these environments actually require different technologies. So uh, sensor networks can be composed of uh, sensor devices which are as simple as uh, uh, battery operated um, um, embedded systems like uh, you can think about uh, ARM Cortex based uh, uh, computing devices with some physical onboard sensors. They have a battery attached to it and a radio interface. Uh, so these are connected to um, a centralized uh, system like uh, an application with, with a connected database uh, which is uh, offering subscription to different end users. Uh, the database is actually the 
short term and uh, storage and long term arch archival for retrieval for data analysis like uh, big data or deep data uh, the sensor networks uh, have been there for quite some time but uh, the ubiquitous sensor network services as in ngn architecture have evolved into something very uh, uh, unique because uh, since ngn in itself is a highly converged network so uh, usn services are also converging very fast because so many different network types and uh, users can be provisioned these services uh, in order to provide custom made um, more uh, uh, personalized services uh, some new concepts like context awareness uh, and uh, uh, situational uh, situationally aware services can be provided which uh, require minimum uh, change in uh, their provisioning if the circumstances or the situation is the same for a variety of users or if a user is so uh, uh, so sensitive or particular about using services in certain context differently then these can be provisioned uh, this requires um, a complete network uh, of uh, information infrastructure that is uh, uh, a lot of information is coming from the sensors and their whole network is generating tons of information now this information has to be digested uh, through an infrastructure so this infrastructure requires a lot of servers etc um there are certain um uh, restrictions in terms of user of sensor networks because uh, they could be non ip based these could be proprietary or localized but once we talk about usn it means uh, global users sitting anywhere in the world can have access which could be individuals or uh, uh, enterprises governments etc and the applications are uh, just uh, starting to um, uh, evolve uh, uh, like military applications healthcare transportation etc now let's look at the overall architecture how usn services can be provisioned we look at the physical architecture which is the lowest layer uh, of sensor network here we have different kinds of sensors like rfid which is basically passive tag that responds to a reader so it can be used for a variety of inventory tracking management supply chain applications then we have uh, vehicular ad hoc networks mounted sensors known as vehicle sensor networks sometimes these are known as manets mobile ad hoc networks in vehicles known as vehicular ad hoc network then we have the access network which is uh, any broadband technology which could provide connectivity between the service provider to the ngn so we have the ngn architecture following and then we have the user side which starts to appear starting from the middleware because the middleware is actually that uh, information architecture comprising uh, the management services location management services context services then directory services etc to mention a few so these middleware services actually make sure minimum information is sieved or is passed to the end user without swarming it or flooding it with unnecessary data so then we have the user applications on the top which is certainly the application layer we have applications in uh, military logistics supply chain health machine condition monitoring it's a very latest field in industry 4.0 etc so it means that uh, ubiquitous sensor network services are going to be something interesting that we'll see in years to come inshallah